Hi guys, Liz here. It is Tuesday morning and I have busily been running around, doing the floors, picking up the house because today is kitchen cabinet installation day. We are so excited. So I'm gonna walk you over there, show you the kitchen so you can see what it looks like. We had the electricians out yesterday and they wired everything for all my lights that are gonna light up the cabinets. I can't wait. So all of that is done and now we're getting the kitchen cabinets installed, I think today and tomorrow. The quartz countertops will not be done until next week because they have to do a template and then they do the cutting, the polishing, all that good stuff. So that's next week. But at least we can kind of see what the kitchen's going to look like once the cabinets are set. All right, everyone. I thought I would give you a quick little tour before the cabinet people show up. I am standing by the front door, as you can see. All of this is going to be demoed come Friday, as well as all the hardwood floors here. So that's gonna be interesting, but all of this is gonna go, all of this is gonna go. Um, my husband just stained that last night. We're still working on it, but um, I actually love it. It almost looks like a tree trunk now, as opposed to how it looked before. Now over here's the dining area, and over here you can see the kitchen. And this flooring is gonna have to come up a little bit because the island, new island's gonna come out a little bit further. So it'll be a little bit bigger footprint than what you see here. But you guys may remember this when I put my video up. I, I did take it down because it got political and I don't do politics on my channel. But nonetheless, we replaced all the boards here. You guys may remember um, the previous homeowners had use a liquid nail to put the tile backsplash up. It was impossible to get it off the board, so we just went ahead and got some new boards, replaced it. Uh, sheet rock is gonna go there. The electricians were in. They wired up there for all my upper cabinet lighting, which is gonna be super cool. Now right here is an entrance. We had to take this board off here because the Sub-Zero refrigerator is gonna come to about right here. So we'll have to trim this out. We don't know what we're gonna do, but it's ready to go and we'll, we'll do the wood trimming afterwards. And what else can I tell you? Oh, so the cabinets are gonna, well, the Sub-Zero refrigerator is gonna go here. Then it's gonna be all cabinets, the stove, cabinets, all the way here, continuing all the way to this post. So it's gonna be cool right here, and I'm gonna have a cute little lamp, and it's like a peekaboo area. So that'll be interesting. Now up here, where you see all the electrical receptacles, I'm gonna have small cabinets with glass cabinet doors all lit up with lights. I'm gonna have some open shelving on this wall. I think you can see it here, right here. But anyway, that's how it's gonna look. And let's see over here. This is what it's gonna look like, Sub-Zero with cabinet ready panels in the kitchen. And then you saw what it's gonna look like over there. So can't wait. now Friday and I hope you guys all had a fabulous Thanksgiving. We are right in the middle of renovation. In fact, today the flooring installers are on their way. We have had to move all the knickknacks, lamps, and all that good stuff out of the way. So all they have to do is push around, you know, the furniture pieces and install the flooring. But today is demo day. So they're going to be tearing up all this bamboo and then tomorrow the new flooring goes in. I can't wait for these floors to get done so I can bring my big tree back up. We had to take it up to the upper level and lay it on the floor. So I can't wait for these floors to get done because I'm just aching to get that, you know, nine foot tree decorated and pretty for Christmas. 
So before the crew gets here, I thought I'd share with you a couple new things. We just got this new audio cabinet. Um, my husband got a new amplifier and I, I'm just, I told him, I said, I'm, I've had it seeing all the audio equipment and cords. What can we do? He said, let's just, let's get a new audio cabinet. Go find one. So I found this one on, was it Amazon? I think it was Amazon or Overstock. I'll link it below, but it's really cool. And then I added some lights up here, which it looks so cozy at night. I can't wait to show you. And then up here on the landing, I strung some garland. I am not even close to being finished with it, but I do have some pre-made bows that I ordered. Those need to, need to go up there, but I'm gonna let the dust settle, so to speak. You know what I mean? So I like this audio cabinet because it's rustic, kind of goes nicely with this log cabin. And then it has these cabinet doors and it's got the wire, which is kind of cool. And then these slide. And then you can see why I wanted something to conceal all those cords. Yes, those are all the cords he hooks his audio stuff up to. So he's, he took his amplifier out because he didn't want the dust getting in it. It's a tube amp, so it's really cool. But it sits in here. And then I can just shut the doors and nobody needs to see it. We only leave it open when he's playing the music but I like it. I removed all my knickknacks from the hearth and you can see the furniture is all kind of, we actually took some furniture in our bedroom because we didn't want it getting all disgusting. And then we're gonna throw these on when they get here. Sneak peek, I'm in love. I'm seriously in love. I think I'm gonna love this kitchen better than my last one. So all these cabinets you see, they all light up. They all light up. I'm, I'm telling you, it was. it's the icing on so, the cake. So let's see, right there is where my new Sub-Zero refrigerator is gonna go. And I believe all the appliances come next week. But what's really cool about the Sub-Zero we're getting, it's a glass front. So I'm gonna have to keep my fridge clean now, yep. But we also have cabinet ready panels that are gonna go around the perimeter of it with the nice hardware that matches all the, the hardware in the kitchen. So that's gonna be super cool. Also too, hopefully next week, Dura Rock is gonna go, it's gonna be done right. They're gonna put Dura Rock all around there and there. And I don't know when we're gonna get our backsplash done because all the contractors are sort of backed up. So that may have to wait, but I, I could use some suggestions from you guys. Based on what you see here, we've got a big black island, big black mantle hood front. What sort of backsplash would, would you go with? I We're kind of stumped. We don't know what to do. Please give me some suggestions. So what would you guys do? Would you go with a like a tile backsplash that matches the cabinets? Uh, I believe these are called canvas and then go with maybe perhaps a darker grout to pick up the black and the island and the hood. I just don't know. So let me step back. I was going to give you a sneak peek, but what the heck? Let's, let's see the whole process, right? Um, oh gosh, what was I going to tell you? Well, we're going with a darker hardwood floor, probably this color. So this oranginess is gonna go away. When I, my kids first saw the kitchen, they said, why did you guys go with more of a modern kitchen? They didn't think it went well with the house. But we told them the reason we went with lighter cabinets is to break up all this wood and the orangey tones. But I think this is gonna look gorgeous when we get the dark wood floors in mixed with this mixed with this. This kind of matches the front door color, the lights hitting it, but I think we're going to go a shade darker. I don't know. We'll see. But, and then we're going with these beautiful quartz ca uh, countertops and right in between here are like a decorative detail, but those are on back order. So, um, and then, oh, let me show you the sink. Well, look at the hardware first. Isn't that cute? I love it. But look at my sink. 
Look at, look at the dust everywhere. We got to clean everything, but I am in love with this sink. And you should see the faucet I got. It's one of those big ones that you can spray. And I think my, I'm having, um, dishwasher drawers two, one here and one below over here's the microwave thanks to you guys we did do this for a pot filler and look at my mantle i'll be able to decorate that through the seasons and like i said all of these light up you can see there's lights up there so excited Let me show you guys one other thing we did yesterday. We added this chandelier. I love the chandelier. We actually added the same two upstairs on the landing. But guess what guys, I'll never get to decorate up there. Once my husband got up on the ladder, he said there's just rafters, there's no there's no landing area to decorate. It, it like drops down and then there's rafters going that way. So what a bummer, huh? All right, guys. Well, that's gonna wrap up my little video for today. I just wanted to pop in, say hello, let you know I miss you. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Share the renovation process with you. And uh, I will be back next week for sure to show you all the new floors. I can't wait. Bye guys. Have a great weekend.